Another reason why we should fear the God of the Bible, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for better, remember, we're giving you warning. Starting off with the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and the men on down and the men that came before them. We're giving you warning from the God of the Bible, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Repent, turn back. Judgments, evils, and only evils. No saying the Lord had me do a lesson this morning through the Spirit, man. On how the, how the Lord is judging these wicked Israelite women. And then now, no saying today, brother, put this post up. Look, look, look. From the brother um GMS Debar Gabash, you know what I'm saying? Medical minute. Young, young, new young MA video sparks health concern. Remember, this 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 is the same lady that pushed that that um, peanut butter chasing nonsense. Remember? Put, uh, and look, these are witches. The, the, the majority of the Israelite men and women, they're witches and warlocks, man. Pushing forth death, man. A, a death culture. And because sentence against an evil work wasn't executed speedily, now, the Lord give you a little run. You know what I'm saying? To see if you're going to repent, but, but they never do. Now, look how many people, you know what I'm saying, have got deleted, falling after these people are mad. They, they push the drugs, they push the crime, they push it, um, peanut butter chasing. They push it, they push idol worshiping. Now look, your, your favorite, look what the Lord did to your damn favorite rapper, man. You see? You Nick Rose Latte, all you entertainers, man. The Snoop Doggy Dogs, you know what I'm saying? The fucking Kevin Hart's, all of them, man. Gonna have to face judgment, man. At least they repent. Let's get some scriptures right quick. Look what the Lord did to young MA, man. She she puts a deaf culture upon our people, man. She pushed that peanut butter chasing life, man, upon our people, man. But let's get some scriptures right quick, man. Look what the Lord did, man. Eyes yellow as hell, man. You ain't see, see that pride, pride, you know what I'm saying, leads to destruction, man. She didn't look prideful on that picture, did she? She, uh, uh, all these damn years of being proud, you know what I'm saying, oh yeah, uh, promoted, you know what I'm saying, um, blicky violence, you know what I'm saying, Pr promoted gang banging, just being, just being a demon, you know what I'm saying. Look what the Lord does to you demons, man, at the end all, be it all, man. And good. And let this be a lesson for each and every last one of us to fear the God of the Bible, man. All right? Fear now, because that's the beginning of knowledge. Deuteronomy chapter 32. As soon as I seen that picture, Kyle, I am like you, how about she must put more fear in me, man? Each and every day, fear the Lord. Every second of the day, fear the Lord, man. Lord, get rid of all this prideful shit, man. You see? Enough is enough, man. The warning has went out. Now, now you're seeing judgment now. Deuteronomy 32. And they ain't going to make this long, man. You see? Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. And it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. So, so in the time of judgment... When, when the Lord put this right here, when the Lord brings judgment upon you, Allah, that, that white Jesus Christ can't save you. Allah can't save you. Santa Maria can't save you. The Hindu God of Shiva can't save you. The Kimmy gods can't save you. You see? Your money, your cars, your clothes, you know what I'm saying? Them big giant, um, big weed um, blunts that you smoke, that can't save you. The cocaine can't save you. Nothing can save or deliver you out of the clutches of the Lord. Even if you get on a plane and try to go somewhere and hide in a, in a cave, you know what I'm saying? Or up on a brick or in the water. It don't matter where you go to the moon. You can't run from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yo, this is called judgment. You Israelite women want to be just like this bitch, right? You know what I'm saying? You Israelite men want to be like these entertainers, right? Well, the Lord got judgment prepared for you. Least ye repent. And what does the word repent mean? It means to turn back sorrowful. See, see these um, ninja lights, they're not sorry for all the nonsense that they've been doing in this life. And the former, they're not sorry. So now judgment, hey, look, we ain't praying for none of them, all right? We ain't praying for none of them. You got people coming on her little comment board talking about pray for. Pray, pray for a demon? They're pushing a deaf culture upon our people. You know what I'm saying? Push peanut butter chasing upon our people. Come on, come on. That's, that's, that's an abomination, what I just showed you right there. Yeah, young M.A. is an abomination unto the Lord, man. Let's read on, though. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. 
I wound and I heal. Who wound young inmate? The Lord, man. It's going to be more of them, man. Y'all going to get retinal cancer and all that, man. The big C. The, the A, the A I D S, all that, man. You, you, it's really getting ready to go down, man. And the Lord said, I wound and I heal, man. So if the Lord wants to heal her, he'll heal her. But, but he showed no wound. These people don't believe in a higher power. They don't believe in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And, and the thing about it, going right back to, um, what is it, Romans, the 10th chapter. Have they have they heard? Yes, valley, they heard. This word, they went out throughout the four corners of the earth. So all these ninjas know that they're the Hebrew Israelites, man. But they refuse to repent, right? Because they'll do anything for a damn dollar, right? They sold their soul and all that. Now you got to pay for it now. Now you got to pay for it now. And we're going to read a couple of scriptures and then we out. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Then you have Sleazy E, the so-called white man, tell you Israelites that you can make the God of the Bible as mad as you want because he can he can produce water now. He can produce food. He can do this and the third. Look, look, look. He can't save your soul, though. See, that devil forgot to tell you. He can't save your soul, man. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Do you, do you not hear that, Israel? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. A bulletproof suit can't deliver you out of the clutches of the Lord. You see? Nothing. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. And what the Lord say, those that fear the Lord are supposed to hate evil, man. You see? We don't supposed to like people like, look at what the Lord did. And my phone chimed in. Look at what Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai did to this piece of shit. You see? And, and, then, and then you got a sad look. look. Don't look sad now. See, the Lord know how to humble a bitch. You see? The Lord know how to humble these ninjas, man. Each and every last one of them going to get humble, man. As a matter of fact, let's, let's just get this. Let's just get that since I said that. Let's just get this. This humbling season right about now. See, you know the time that we're living in now? We're living in humbling season, man. Let's get this, man. You, you Israelites have exalted yourself. Y'all y'all took on the spirit of sleazy. Now it's time for the Lord to bring you down. Br bring them down. Each and every last one of them, Lord. Bring them down, Lord. And, and, and it's a beautiful thing. Let's, let's see where I'm at. We're just, we're just going to look. We're just going to read through some scriptures. And then, then we're going to wrap it up. Let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. He that he or she that is all oh, here. Here we go. Here we go. St. Luke 14, 11. Red letter. Lord, you I shall speak who they even call Jesus, man. You see, for whosoever exalted himself, he or her, you see, shall be a base. Now, look, look, you was lifted up and then the Lord bringing your way right on back down. Right. And he or she that humbleth himself shall be exalted. But our people are like, nah, they want to be exalted. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to. So the Lord humbling you now. The Lord has to humble you with what? With judgment, man. All right? And as a matter of fact, this is just, like I said before, we're just flowing in the spirit, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, right? Let's get this. Zephaniah, what is it, 3 and 5? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. Let's see if that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it is uh, evils and only evils, man. Zephaniah, see, see, it's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. See, only a fool thinks about partying, having fun, lighting blunts, doing crack cocaine, popping pills and all that. Now, now look, you had your little 10-year run, your little 15-year run. Now look, you see you see the end results of, of not taking heed to the word? Look, look, look at the end results of not taking heed to the word. I, I'm going to show that picture again. This was young M.A. Look at her now, man. You see, look at what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh did to this woman, man. This is what happens when you don't fit. Face all through. Humble. Humble, man. And now you might end up in a wheelchair, head tore all the hell, you know what I'm saying? But look, look, look. Remember, the Lord said, I'm going to mock you when you're fearful. Now you're scared. You won't scared when you was pushing forth that witchcraft upon our people. Zephaniah, in, in the news. You should have known you was going to make the news. In, in the news. You should have known you was going to make the news. You should have known you was going to make the news, girl. Zephaniah chapter 3 and anybody like him man all right who's who's next man 
Who's next, man? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord. The Lord is perfect in all his ways. He don't make mistakes, all right? The just Lord, the most high, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. Hell, the brother put the post up this morning. Do, do a show the time when the brother put the post up? It was early this morning, though. Let's see. Let's see. It's going to show five hours ago. So five hours ago, you know what I'm saying? That's about 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? No, that's, that's, that's about one. About one-ish. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think another brother put it up before that, though. You know what I'm saying? So so every morning, do, this, this don't scare you Israelites? This don't make you Israelites want to repent? This could be any one of us, man, at the drop of a dime. That's why we're supposed to fear the God of the Bible. The hell with what the white man is saying. The white man telling you to be rebel, rebellious, be fearless. No, you better be fearful, you see? Or this might be you, man, at the drop, lo losing a damn hair falling out. This through, man. But you you was you were just on TV not that not that long ago going on dates trying to see if you can, if somebody can find your date with another woman, which which that's an abomination to the God of the Bible. The Lord tired now, man. Every morning, do if He bring His judgment to light. He fell of not, but the unjust know of no shame. So you are gonna have a whole lot of Israelites. They know about you no know saying what's happening to young MA. Is they thinking about repenting? No. Our people don't think about repenting. So judgment has to come upon you, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And like the scriptures say, they that remain are going to know that there was nothing better than to fear the God of the Bible. The wages of sin is death. All right. The wages of sin is death, man. And whoever perish being innocent, if she die, she dies. Who gives a damn, man? It's going to be more just like her, man. And look, and we ain't shed no tears. You didn't repent. We ain't shed no tears. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Verse, um, we started 12. And they, the Hebrew Israelites, entered into a covenant, an agreement to seek the Lord, power of their fathers, with all their heart, with all your mind, and with all thy soul. That whosoever, look, look, listen good. I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna blow it up. Listen good, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you men, you women, and you children, man. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, should be put to death. That's plain. Whether small or great, whether you know in a society or you're a bum on the street corner, right? Whether man or woman. Why? Because there's no respect to person. And, 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 you, and whoever perish being innocent, and if the Lord delete her ass tonight, whoever perish being innocent. So now, now you, um, you, um, uh, what would you call it? Your, your insides, you know what I'm saying? It's failing you now. You see? It's, it's how the Lord, the Lord know how to humble your ass. Quick, man. The Lord got a thing called judgment. It, it'll humble the, the, the strongest, the biggest person, you know what I'm saying, on the face of the earth. And it, 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 it is good. It's good to see things like this happen, man. It puts more fear in us. And whatever I can get off the comment board, I'm going to try to get that. But it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing to see the Lord pay these wicked people back, man. These wicked Negroes, Latinos, and they're the Americans. Get them, Lord. Get them, Lord. It, it, it's beautiful. Yo, look, look who's, con who's concerned about it? We ain't. We ain't. You, you fear the Lord, and I'm saying the Lord, and I'm saying heal you. Of your wounds, if you fear the Lord, if not, only judgment. You see, and look at her face, man. You see, look up, look, look through, through. Let's get some more scriptures, cause I ain't gonna be here too long. As soon as I seen that post, I couldn't wait to get out of work. Like, yo, let's let's do another lesson on fearing the Lord. You see, what better time to do a lesson about fearing the Lord than now, man? Jeremiah chapter eleven. Let's see, let's see, let's see what I'm gonna start at. Um, six, Jeremiah chapter 11, verse six. Then the Lord said unto me, proclaim these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, a people before some place saying, hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even until this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice, yet they obey not. You got men on every street corner, damn near, you know what I'm saying? Telling Israel to repent, especially up in New York. Especially in New York. That's the um that's headquarters. You know what I'm saying? The truth came out of New York. You know what I'm saying? I think it was Harlem. You see? 
So you, you think them ninjas up there, you know what I'm saying, trying to listen? You think they're trying to obey the voice of the Lord? Nah, they look at us like we crazy. Remember the guys with the dresses on, you see, with the naughty beards and all that? You know what I'm saying? Out there screaming and yelling. They ain't talking about nothing. Remember, get a job, get a life. Remember, you bums. Remember all that, right? Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked everyone in the imagination of their evil heart, of their evil mind. Cause, cause remember, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's why you don't lean into your own understanding. You don't trust in your own mind, right? Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. Remember Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter? What would happen if we obey and what would happen if we disobey? You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting ready to go right back. I'm getting ready to go to Job. I'm getting ready to go to Job, right? I'm getting ready to go to Job in the fruit. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to look in the phone chime in. So I guess that's where I'm going to have to go. And the Lord said it to me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, all 12 tribes. They have turned back to the iniquity of their forefathers because there's a such thing called re reincarnation. You come back every third and fourth generation, man. You see? You, we are our forefathers, right? Which refuse to hear my word. See, in, in, young M.A. was one of them, um, one of our um, foremothers that refused to hear the words of the Lord and went out the other gods to serve them. Hell, they probably bowed down to um, Baphomet, Molet to receive that damn money. They went out the other gods, right? They, they would let them be as demonic as they wanted to be, right? The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, the agreement which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shall behold, I will bring evil upon them, meaning these bad times. See, look, look, she's in a bad time. A bad time is hitting her now. You see, it was all lovely, lovely, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago, just to say it was all good just a week ago. Now look, though, this is young M.A., you see? The, the Lord gets you quick too, man. But once again, because sentence against an evil work isn't executed speedily, it's fully set in these wicked people's minds to continue to do wicked, right? So she's in this predicament right about now. No, but it's other Israelites that's going to see her in this predicament right here, and they're not going to change. And then the Lord going to pray judgment upon them too, and then judgment upon another, and then judgment upon another, and then judgment upon another, and then judgment upon another. Yo, and we're going to make it, when it is, and we're going to do a video on you, man. You see? Everybody going to do a video on you, man. Let, let's see what else. Therefore, thus said the Lord, I will bring evil upon them in these bad times, which they shall not be able to escape. And remember, riches profit not in a day of wrath. Money, money can't get her out of this situation. You see? Money, all the money in the world can't get this girl out of the situation that she's in now. The Lord said, I'm, I'm the one that's bringing evil upon her. I'm the one that's got her in this bad situation right here. You know what I'm saying? And she's not going to escape until I say it, man. And the Lord just might take her home. And then everybody going to mourn. Oh, she was the greatest person in the world. Gonna have a rest in peace t shirts. You know what I'm saying? Well, she won't nothing but a witch. You see? She won't nothing but a witch, man. She was an abomination, but everybody gonna make it seem like she was the greatest person on the face of the earth. When she promoted game banging, she promoted the um, the uses of drugs. You know what I'm saying? You see? She promoted that peanut butter chasing life. You see? And look, look, she she promoted pop and gas. She promoted our people, you know what I'm saying, to live a rebellious life. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to no authority, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, we're gonna YOLO and all this other nonsense, right? What did the Lord say? And though they shall cry to me, it looked like she's ready to cry. Her eyes yellow as hell. That means, you know what I'm saying, something's failing inside their body, right? I think, I think it's them kidneys failing, right? Them kidneys failing, right? Remember, all that access of alcohol, it is just fun, 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 fun. Look, look, look the Lord said, you know what I'm saying, they're going to be eating, they're going to be drinking, they're going to be marrying the wives, you see? And to the day, you know what I'm saying, that Noah went into the ark, and the same thing happened in the days of Lot, and the same thing going to be happening in the days of the Son of Man. So you get what you asked for, man. Everybody is getting their reward, man. What the Lord saying? Though they shall cry to me, I will not hearken unto them. And I would just want to jump down to verse 14. Let's go here. Because you got people coming on MA comment board. Talk, so just pray for it. everybody. Pray for it. Put your hands together. You know what I'm saying? Let's go into a moment of silence. Are you freaking crazy? Are you freaking crazy for this demon? Have a moment of silence for this demon? Nah, man. You see? Nah. No, 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 no. I don't think so. And this is young MA. Do, do the Lord know how to humble a person or what, man? You see, 
Look, 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 we'll see you in the kingdom, man. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. And it's talking about Israelites, two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord said, don't pray for them. You see, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry to me for their trouble. And then, you know, she called on, she, I bet she called on them names now. I bet you she called on them names now. You see? Cause, come on, man. Everybody in New York know the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the, in the proper Hebrew tongue. They know they know about Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? And Yahweh Shai. They know them names. So I'm pretty sure she's saying them names right about now. But the Lord like, I don't hear you, yo. I don't hear you, man. You know what I mean? The people, you know what I'm saying? They didn't, she didn't had all kind of people, you know what I'm saying? Get, delete people out here on the earth because she was a boss, right? She was a boss. So she didn't had all kind of people get deleted on the face of the earth. Now you got to pay for them crimes, yo. You got the and young M.A. is paying for her crimes. That's a, that's exactly what it is. Let's get this. The, look, destroy for the lack of not. And it, it is scary and it's beautiful at the ta at the same time. You see? You're gonna know that it was nothing better. All of us are starting to realize. If you if you haven't realized, you better start to realize it that there's nothing in this world better than fearing the God of the Bible, right? Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge of the Bible, right? They look, they got the knowledge of wickedness, which what is not wisdom. This is the scripture say the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. So young MA had the knowledge of wickedness. How, how to um how to sell cocaine, you know what I'm saying? How to um pop blickies, you know what I'm saying? How to how to how to spoil people, you know the the the, the big R, the R O B B. Y'all y'all know what we're talking about. Oh, that's all they did up in New York, man. You know what I'm saying? Rob from the poor. Look, 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 look. Destroyed the whole damn neighborhood. That's the only thing they was doing was promoting violence. You know what I'm saying? Destruction of our people, man. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And now young M.A. is being rejected. And a whole, a whole, man, a lot of them, man. Not, not just her. She, she's just the, um, the face of today. That's all. Look, look, that thou shall be no priest to me. You rejected the words of the Lord, damn it. Now he's rejecting you. I also will reject thee, that thou shall be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Every time you turn around, you had women bragging about how many women they can get. That's an abomination, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's filthy right there, man. And the Lord going to put a stop to each and every last one of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? This 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 um Rome, you know what I'm saying? 2.0. That's all it is. This is this is Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0, man. And look, and that place was left for an example, right? Sodom and Gomorrah was left for an example, man. All right? Two-thirds of our people gonna die by way of the sword. Let's get this. Let's just get we're just flowing in the spirit. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1, and it reads, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn in the oven when no missiles hit this place, and all the proud. Yea, and young MA, look, she was proud. Look how the Lord humbled her fast, too. She had a little run, you know what I'm saying? Had a little run, you know what I'm saying? On, on BT, you know what I'm saying? On this award show, you know what I'm saying? Doing this, that, and the third. Now look. Now look. Shit, shit, you're about to be in a wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? Soon come. Hell, this, this woman is through, all right? Just through, man. And anybody like her, you know what I'm saying? Gonna bite the dust too, right? Right? The Lord said, look, look, all the proud, yay, and all the do wickers. Remember, they was pushing that pride, um, that pride month nonsense too. You see? So look, oh yeah, walk around um, sagging the damn pants and all the shit, showing their drawers. Look, look, pushing that black culture nonsense, man. Sleazy E love it when you out here acting like an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Sleazy E don't fear ninjas like that. Sleazy E don't fear you ninjas with them blickies, with them sticks. No, Sleazy E fears the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways prophesying his downfall using the Bible. That's what Sleazy E fears. He he don't fear no young M.A. He, shit, they pushing, you know what I'm saying? His, his arm pretty much his um his shit pretty much. I'm gonna just say it like that. You know what I'm saying? His propaganda. What it say? And all that do weekly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, man. All right? And that's for the Israelites that don't take heed to the word. But for the ones that take heed, what it say? 
but unto you that fear my name. We're supposed to be trembling at the words of the Lord. The Lord said a contrite, you know what I'm saying, and um, a contrite spirit and those that tremble if at my words. That's who my eyes are upon, right? But unto you that fear my name. So important that name is shall the son of righteousness, Lord Yahweh Shai, arise with healing in his wings when he pull up in the chariots, the spaceships, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Matter of fact, we just get this. We right here. I'm going to bring out about a couple more scriptures and then I'm going to wrap up. This is all about fearing the Lord. Another reason why we should fear the God of the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 10, and it reads, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call Jesus, right? That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he or she have done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. See, we know the terror of the Lord. And the Lord only showing us a little something, something, right? We persuade men and women. We threaten you with the words of the Bible. If you don't repent and turn back to the God of the Bible, this, that, and the third, it's going to happen to you. And it's going to always be worse. It's going to always be worse than what we're saying. You see? This is the king of terrors, man. We're supposed to be terrified. This is the, this is the crater, you know what I'm saying? He flooded the earth, you know what I'm saying? Rain, fire, and brimstone upon Sodom and Gomorrah, you know what I'm saying? You, you mean to tell me you're not afraid of an entity that creates planets or what? You, you mean to tell me you're not afraid of the entity that created the sun? Are, are, are you serious? You did, you know what I'm saying? That pride and them demons on you got you feeling that tough? You that thug? And the Lord going to do away with all you game bangers, all you thugs, you know what I'm saying? All you whores, all you thoughts, you know what I'm saying? You Instagram, and you know my phone going off. The Lord going to delete each and every last one of you. At least you repent, man. You Israelites, man. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, right? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Let's just get another one. I'm going to get this right here. Look, look, look. What did the Lord say? Um, What you reap, you sow. That's all. You, she's reaping what she sow, and not just her. It's many others, man. She's just the, she's just the face of today. That's all. Hebrews chapter 10. Let's go here. Hebrews chapter 10, we we'll start at 30. For we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. That's why the only thing we do is preach this word week in and week out to the best of our ability through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Because we already know the Lord most definitely going to pay. Look, look, uh, the Lord got you in the hospital with diabetes and all. The Lord going to get each and every last one of you ninjas, man. Straight up, man. Least ye repent, man. All right? What it say? For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense. The Lord said, Don't do nothing. You just go teach that word. I'm going to pay him back. You see? I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. So the Lord is judging M.A. now. You see? The Lord is judging young M.A. now. You see? Look at, look, don't even look the same. This person don't even look the same. If I showed you a before and after picture, them look totally different, man. Look at what the Lord can do to you, yo. You know, yeah, there's one um, tattoos all over your damn body, you know what I'm saying? Just straight up just wickedness, man. And the Lord said, I suffer not a wish to live. They was promoting nothing but wickedness, man. You see? That's all they was promoting, man. The Lord going to get the P. Diddy's of the world. Those are each and every last one of you, man. The Lord going to get each and every last one of y'all, yo. It's a fearful thing. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Look, look, look. It's a fearful thing. Remember, the Lord got those spirits created for vengeance, too. You see? I don't even want that. Oh, give, me, give me the 40th chapter. Give me Sirach chapter 40. A couple more scriptures, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I got to bring out some first fear scriptures, and then I'm going to roll out. Sirach chapter 40. Sirach chapter 40, verse, um, let's see, what is it? Um, 20, nah. Sirach chapter 40, verse 9. And it reads, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and discourage. These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood all right and, look, 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 and the lord says it's going it's going to be more worse this time than it was before and i got all kind of scriptures going through my head we're going to see if we can run through a couple of them right quick man knowing therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men and women you right 
But look, but only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to take heed. Two thirds, y'all going to fall by the wayside. And, and, the, and the ones that the Lord really hates, he, he saved you for that fire. The ones that the Lord really hates, he saved you for the fire, man. All you rebellious Israelite men and women, the Lord got judgment prepared for you. If you only knew, the majority of our people, they're going to get ate by animals and everything, man. All right? And neither is there any. They can, they're going to they gonna pull, pull your flesh apart. Them pit bulls, you know what I'm saying? Them different dogs, you know what I'm saying? Them hyenas, them lions, them tigers, them bears. Oh, my. They're going to pull your flesh apart. And the only thing you're going to be able to do is scream and holler. And no one's going to hear your cries. No one's going to hear your sighing and your crying and all that, right? You deserve it. Ezekiel chapter 18. Let's just get this right quick. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Yeah, and it's all a good read, man. Look, look, y'all are committing wickedness. Y'all provoking the Lord, man. Therefore, verse 30, therefore, I will judge you. Remember, you said only God can judge you. Every time we see y'all and y'all walk past us, what's the first thing you Nick Rose Latinos and they to make any say only God can judge you? Well, have it your way then. Have it your way. Um... One of the um um one of my favorite quotes, you know what I'm saying, from Elder Apostle Gabar, you know what I'm saying, when words can't teach, adversity will. The Lord st start kicking your ass up and down the street, you know what I'm saying? You you'll learn a lesson, man. When words can't teach, adversity will, right? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, his or her ways, said the Lord, Yeah, Howard. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, repent, meaning turn back sorrowful, turn back remorseful, tell the God of the Bible that you're sorry for everything that you did, every wrongful thought, saying, and doings in this life and your former life. We all got to do it, man. If we want to even think of have a, having a chance at being delivered, man, or protected. In these troubling times, repent, Israel, and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, man. Your sins, your sins upon sins, your wickedness, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye yeah, have transgressed and make you a new heart, a new mind, and a new spirit. For why will ye die O house of Israel? Because the Israelites that don't see the God of the Bible, you dead me. You miss me, man. Alright? Let's, let's, get, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Uh, we're going to go right back to Sirach. Let's, go, let's get Sirach uh, the fifth chapter right quick, man. We're just going to flow right quick. Look what, the door, look what the Lord did to young M.A., man. It was all good just a week ago, right? Now look, man. This, this is a fearful sight right here because this could happen to any one of us at the drop of the dime. Look, look, the Lord can get pissed off, man, and say the hell with it all, yo, and have your ass looking like this, man. How you somewhere leaking? You see? Hell, the Lord folded my manager up today, man. Had him, you know what I'm saying, so he can barely move. Just look, man, it's a fearful thing. Had him to eat. Only thing he could do was hold his damn stomach. Couldn't even talk or nothing, man. And this happened today, man. It's a fearful thing, man. Let's get this. Sirach so chapter 5, verse 7. Make no terror. See, the Lord hates the, you hypocrites. You you Israelite actors. You know what I'm saying? You act like you love the Lord. If loving the Lord is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Lying ass, hypocritical ass Israelites. The Lord, he's tired of you now. He's tired of all the acting. You see? He's tired of it, man. So Rock chapter 5, verse 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And don't put it off. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly, when you least suspect it, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Make, don't, don't, don't tarry, Israel. Make no tarry. You, you want to end up like this? You Israelite men and women, you want to end up like this with no help whatsoever? And you know, and you know, whatever she's going through is painful as hell. Look at the look on her face now. You see, look at the look on her face now. Now, now she needs a savior. Now she wants somebody to come save her, right? Well, who, who was she trying to save? What, what, um, what good news was she giving out? You see, she won't praise the God of the Bible. You see, she was praising drug dealers. She was um, praising um criminals. You see, thugs, jack boys. You see, jackers. You see, carjackers and things of that nature, man. So you get what you deserve, man. You reap what you sow. You see, the Lord said, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of visit. Let's get some fresh scriptures. Let's just get that, 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 that one I want to call nothing better. Let's just get that right quick. 
We're going to get about two, three more scriptures, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up. This is Proverbs 15, 16. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasures and trouble therewith. You see? Look, look, Biggie told you that. More money, more problems, right? It, the, the, look, look, and, and I'm hearing ambulances in the background right now. The, the little bit that we got, let us be content with it, Israel. You see? We, we look, our, our mind state is salvation, getting the hell up out of here, not being millionaires and billionaires in a wicked ass society, you know what I'm saying, where you got to do something wicked, you know what I'm saying, and you'll never own nothing here, you'll never own nothing here, you see? You, you want to be a slave up on a sleazy forever, so you bend over and you sit on the damn casting couch, and, and, and it leads to this. Bending over and sitting on the casting couch, you know what I'm saying, and performing wicked acts leads to this. Remember, this is young M.A., you see, the wild stallion that nobody couldn't tell nothing, you know what I'm saying. She was on her high horse. Look at look what the Lord do, did. The Lord knocked her ass off that high horse quick, and it didn't even take long. With the same Proverbs 15 and four and 16, better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasures and trouble thereby. Plus, she did she got all her riches from being wicked. You see? Let's get this. Where, where, where is that at? I just want to get this right quick. Let's see. Let's see. Where is it at? Um, let's see. Bear with me. I know it's in the Apocrypha. Let's see. Nothing better than to fear the Lord. Let's see. Oh, oh, look, look at all this. Um, so Rock chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hated all abomination. Young M.A. was an abomination. She was a wicked, filthy act. Young M.A. was a wicked, filthy act act, man. That's exactly what she was. She was an abomination. And they that fear the most high love it not. You see, you see that? You see that? Oh, yeah. Here you go. One. Sirach chapter 26, verse 25. A shameless woman. And young M.A. was a shameless woman. A sh she didn't have no shame. You see, she didn't feel bad about none of that wickedness that she was doing and she was promoting. What is going to say? Sirach. And everybody. And Cardi B going to receive her judgment. Megan Thee Stallion. You know what I'm saying? All these whores, you know what I'm saying, going to receive their judgment soon. Come, man. Promoting all that nonsense, man. You see, all you peanut butter chasers, all you drug dealers, all you game bangers, all you witches and warlocks, all you idol worshippers, you're going to receive your judgment soon, come, man. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. I hope you women out there hear that. Let's see where that, where, where is that at, man? Nothing better. They that remain shall know that there is nothing. Did I pass it? Let me just see. Let me just see. I know brothers probably put it up there on the comment board. It's probably way at the top. Let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. Let's, oh, yeah. Here it goes right here. Damn, I was right here. I was right here. The water you have, but you know, shy. So, Rock chapter 23, verse 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better, nothing better than the fear of the Lord. Are you Israelites not hearing that? It's nothing better than fearing the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you even call God and Jesus, man. It's nothing better than to fear the Lord. The Lord say he's taking pleasure in us fearing him, man. Because the Israelites that don't fear the God of the Bible, he got judgment prepared for them, right? What does it say? And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed, listen, take heed into the commandments of the Lord. You can't, you, what, what do you think? Ignoring the words of the Lord going to get you delivered? You think ignoring the words of the Lord, you think scoffing and mocking, you think that's going to, you going to end up in, on a chariot by doing all that? And these people been mocking the men of the Lord, but, 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 you know what I'm saying? You mocking the men of the Lord. Remember, there's no remedy because the majority of our people, they, they take it too far and then the Lord bringing judgment upon them. I just want to do something quick through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, just showing you what happens when you don't fear the Lord. Another reason why you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians should fear the God of the Bible and so like I didn't read none of the comments or the comment boy. I see brothers put up that fire up there and I'm most definitely thankful for it. I just wanted to hit something real quick. Lord willing, I might come back with something later, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? It's all up to the Lord. But fearing the Lord is the greatest thing that we can ever do, Israel.
You see, what it say? Um, those that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. You see? Uh, all the above. So we're supposed to flee away from sin as fleeing from a serpent, man. But it, but it is what it is. I, I, I seen that picture. I seen that post. So I was like, yo, let me go ahead and do so. I got that post from um the brother GMS on um, the bar Gabash, you know what I'm saying? Kabash, you know what I'm saying? Five hours ago. Young MA. As soon as I seen this picture, I said, what the hell? Said, look, look. Another reason why we should fear the God of the Bible. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith, regardless of people here for a bear. Another reason why we should fear the God of the Bible. Shalom.